This is Palmyra Network News. Today we're on the road to the Mount Gretna Art Show. Don't know what's going to happen right here on Palmyra Network News. Well now, here we are in beautiful Mount Gretna, Pennsylvania. Who's this movie star? What's your name, Mrs. Mrs. I think it's Paris Hilton, ladies and gentlemen. It's Paris Hilton in Mount Gretna, Pennsylvania. She's coming after me. You just missed Sally and Don Berry. Oh no, we just Mickey. missed Sally and Don Berry. Is this the Mount Gretna Arts Festival right here? <laughs> what do you have today here? Uh, what's going on at your art festival here, Mrs.? Usual Mrs. culprits. Culprits? Yes. Where's the culprits? I don't see any culprits. The Most of them are at the bottom of the hill right now. Okay, we're going to the Mount Gretna Arch Art Show. We're walking down a drainage ditch to get to the art show. We're looking at pictures along. Why do we have to walk down this drainage ditch anyway? Protection. Okay, now we're off the drainage ditch, and I think we've actually found a path to go to the show right now. Uh, Paris? Paris Hilton? Paris, could you, could you please give us a comment before I fall down the steps? Where are you going, Paris? Shut up! I know you don't need it, but here's the money for your ticket, Paris. Here. Yeah, notice she takes the money. Now it looks like steps. And an attack dog! This must be some art show if it takes this much to get to it. What do you think of that, Mrs. K? Awesome. I'm a willow. Let me see you do the, do the wing thing. How do, show me how a willow bends. Show me. Biggest house in Mount Gretna. Paris has to pay $10 to get in because he's so mean. <laughs> and remember always, it's okay to have too much fun. This is Palmyra Network News. Thank you. There's Paris Hilton, right as well. Yeah, okay. Just <laughs> arriving. Where's your limousine? Shut up! What's for lunch? And if you ever wondered why we believe today that the owl is a wise animal, that's because of the Greek mythology. The reason they believe so is simply because the owl can see through the dark, therefore can see through the unseen. It must be a wise animal. It's not necessarily true, but that's what they believed 3,000 years ago and we still believe today. As far as the quality of the coin, it doesn't get better than that. It's one of the best coins I've ever had. Okay, good. I think we'll be alright. And if you ever wondered why we believe today that the owl is a wise animal, that's because of the Greek mythology. The reason they believe so is simply because the owl can see through the dark, therefore can see through the unseen. It must be a wise animal. It's not necessarily true, but that's what they believed 3,000 years ago and we still believe today. As far as the quality of the coin, it doesn't get better than that. It's one of the best coins I've ever had. Okay, good. Looks like this fella's really going to make a haul. So take all those paintings and all those birdhouses. You know, Atlanta should be a pretty good city because we burned it, right? <laughs> what am I to say to that? <laughs> I don't know. That must be quite a show. You said you've been here 25 years. That's right. Is that right? Well. Are you the only stand here when everybody else leaves, or? No. Oh, you mean 25 years? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not, not quite that. I see. Hidden animal drawings. Look closer. The art of Shazmania? Huh? Otherwise known as Where's Waldo? I'll put like four more, like the families on the way. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Yeah, they're selling everything here at the uh, craft show today. Somebody built a life-size uh, cottage in Mount Gretna, and uh, they're trying to sell that here today.
Chris Network. Are you uh, Bill McCamish? Uh, no, I'm his wife. But you're from Michigan? Yes. And you're a Michiganer? Yeah, okay. No. I have the day off. this over here? This is Miss Jennifer. Miss Jennifer, how do you do? I'm fine. Okay, up from Washington, are you? I am. I thought so. I am. You enjoying the show, Roy? Yeah, I'm having huh? a great time. Yeah. I'm having a great time. Sorry, what did you buy? Absolutely nothing. The girl I left behind me. Oh. Encore! Encore! What's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Eric. And where are you from? Uh, Akron, Pennsylvania. Akron, Pennsylvania. Not, Akron, not Ohio. No, not, not Land Ohio. of the blimps. No. <laughs> no, no. No. Akron, okay. Pennsylvania. That's a way. Half an hour down the road. Well, that was a great performance. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank right. you. The world famous Chiga Shop. Big shady operation. Looks like everybody's leaving now. Leaving on Schultz Transportation. I don't see nothing. This is Palmyra Network News. I heard a story and it opened my eyes All about monkeys in trees Somebody told me that our ancestors Were chimpanzees Oh, Mr. Darwin said we came from a monk But maybe Darwin knew I've been a pondering, thinking and wondering, perhaps it's true. There is just a little bit of monkey, a bit of monkey in us all. <laughs> we eat peanuts and bite our nails. I know people who carry tails. Every married man is like a monkey because he's always up a tree. <laughs> I met a girl and the day I found her, I kind of wanted the monkey round her. Can't you see there's just a little bit of monkey still left in you and me? Think of the salesman when he's selling his girls. Look at the moon that he makes. Think of the acrobat in the circus, the jumps he takes. They go to peep it when they're riding the car, hanging on a strap. But don't you agree with me that it's a certainty there's no perhaps. There's just a little bit of monkey, a bit of monkey in us. Mr. Darwin, he sure was right. A girl made a monkey of me last night. But people often call each other monkeys. There's a reason, can't you see? I lost my wife and I cannot find her. She ran away with an organ grinder. Can't you see? There's just a little bit of monkey to left in you and me. Yeah. This is Palmyra Network News.